Good morning, ladies. It's day nine of the Morning Miracles Challenge. And today's verse is 1 John chapter 4, verse 16. It says, God is love, and whoever abides in love abides in God, and God abides in him. Today we're reflecting on the nine days that we've spent together, and I know there's one more day left, but tomorrow we're going to be looking to the future. So today, you're invited to listen in on Deborah Abisher's salvation story. And I hope that you will be blessed by that. And then following that story, she has a letter for you as well about her morning routine and how it changed when she became a part of our community and some things she's dealing with now. So, Please enjoy. A letter from Deb Abshire. I got saved when I was 13. I already had baggage, but no knowledge how to heal. I did not have a special routine. I didn't read or study my Bible, did not pray. I wrote and I sang. I saw ugly stuff in the two churches I remember. The one during high school had a few horrible incidents. By my senior year, I started to learn about Bible study, but the church ran our youth leader away. After graduation, I abandoned church. I spiraled downward. Fast forward to 26 year old. My husband left me and my daughter. A young lady tells me she's praying for me. To make it short, I gave my life back to Jesus and experienced the infilling of the Holy Spirit with tongues. I attended church, studied the Bible, and served in the church. Then, my husband left again while I was pregnant. I had to move and seek welfare assistance. My parents also moved out of state. God provided so much. Fast forward again, I continued this process until my husband and I got back together the last time. We had two more church dramas and left church. We moved to another city. I fell hard. Addiction and sexual sin, verbally abusive marriage, I had walked away from God. We moved back home for a reason I don't remember. This girl from school invited my girls to church. I said yes because I didn't want them around anyway. (laughs) I was on the verge of walking into a wrong lifestyle, but something tugged me. I decided to go talk to that pastor's wife with the red hair that had invited me every time. God had prepared her. I was planning for rejection and the final reason to give up, but she only loved me. God touched me that day, and I had a remembrance of his presence. In 2006, I repented. He instantly stopped the voices in my head. The addiction was gone. In less than a year, I again faced church drama, but this lady had literally poured into me and discipled me. I had a choice, summer of 2007, continue with God or follow the cycle. Praise God, this time he won because I'd be discipled. I've been serving him ever since. Fast forward again. I've always had a morning routine, but it was a little bland. I was invited to try the Morning Miracles Challenge. At first, I was skeptical. What could it add that I had not already? My morning routine usually ended up being late. I was always hitting the snooze button. When I started MMC, that was a big push to get rid of the snooze option. That was one of the best things I ever did. It took putting my phone, my alarm, on the other side of the room. It worked and I still do it today. The next learning was that visualization is safe and biblical. I was so glad to know this. The video about it was so helpful and has become such a wonderful tool for me. The biggest part of my testimony through MMC is affirmations, or some call it self-talk. I was very negative to myself. After watching the video and finally understanding the correct way to do this, I started. I chose verses for me, rewrote them in a personal way, and made pictures that I hung on my bathroom mirror. 
I spoke them morning and at night. Wow, this one thing totally changed my mind and life. I'm so grateful for this group. They embrace biblical truth and disciplines and create a space to learn and grow in Christ for Christ. Ladies who accept each other as in process and encourage each other as they challenge growth. Ladies, thank you so much for listening to Deborah's um, beautiful testimony. And today, for your accountability picture, we're asking that you take a picture of the place you wrote down and displayed your teammates' names. Now, this is something that we talk about on page 15 of the workbook. So if you did it there, you could reference that page. And if you haven't written down your teammates' names somewhere, why not take the time to do that today? Looking back on these past nine days, what is one encouraging thing you could say to the women in your team? We look forward to hearing what you write, and we will see you tomorrow for day 10 of the Morning Miracles Challenge. This is Laura Gabriel signing off. Bye. Thanks for watching. Simplify and Sanctify is a production of the Morning Miracles Challenge 10-Day Morning Routine Program. Receive your free digital workbook while we're in session here at the Challenge by visiting morningmiracleschallenge.com. The beautiful 92-page print version of this workbook is available as a thank you for your gift to this ministry. Learn more about this challenge, how to give, how to get involved, and how to participate at morningmiracleschallenge.com. His mercies are new every morning. Have a blessed day.